Professor Maurinho, uh, his gym is in Brazil, in Ipanema, uh, which is, by the way, uh, I, we got plans to make like a camp this year. Unfortunately, the camp's not going to start uh, soon this year, of course. We're going to postpone the camp, the Brazilian camp, which is already told Tom, Professor Amin, and everybody at the Go Squad, like everybody's more than welcome and invited to go. And this year, the surprise will be Professor Maurinho as one of the hosts from the, from the camp. You know, he will be there in Brazil. But it's not going to happen this year, but I'm still going to get you on the camp. So, Maurinho, I'm going to let you go ahead, you know, uh, to your class. And uh, if anybody have any questions, you know, please feel free to send it to Amir, and then he will go ahead and uh, get you okay. back. Okay. Okay, you guys. Uh... First, I'd like to say, um, for me, it's a, um, it's a really nice opportunity to, to, to say about my victory today, because it's the first day of my wife, she's going to start training. So this is why I'm telling you guys, be strong during the storm. You know, for me, this is the first time she's going to put the gear, you know, <laughs> so I'm going to introduce her. She's... Ellen, she's gonna help me. You know, she's gonna be my alive dummy. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Just, you know, uh, uh, this is gonna pass, right? But the time also gonna pass. And what did you do, you know, through this? So, I have one victory. So she's going to start, you know, training today. And then hopefully she can go, you know, through the black belt maybe one day. Yeah, and then you guys are going to remember that the first class was today. <laughs> Tonight. Okay. Um, I'm a pretty light guy. So usually I start, you know, teaching stuff that work a lot for me. You know, I use it a lot. And, uh, and things that help me you know, keep alive until I get the black belt, you know, things that I use since the white belt through now. Um, of course, most of the light guys used to play guard. That's, you know, the most common scenario um, when you're light. So you start playing guard, you know, you do stuff because it's hard to put someone down. It, and you need skills to, you know, to play on top and then you're very light. Everybody throw you, you know, to the side, throw to the other side. It's really hard. And then also for you to, you know, understand the balance because, you know, you're really light. It's, so it's pretty common to start, you know, playing guard. And then two attacks. One, it's, I'm, I'm very honored to uh, say that uh, half of this attack is, you know, uh, heritage from, from Puga from, you know, you know this guy. And and half of this, it was because he, you know, showed me some stuff. And then I started developing, you know, a little bit more, okay? So I'm gonna start to show you, of course you had a class with uh, Claudinha, uh, Claudia Duval. She's one of the best with uh, Omo Plata, you know, the girls in, in this world. But I'm gonna show you um, maybe two tricks that are gonna help you a lot, okay? So I'm gonna put the camera right here. Can you see my mats? Okay, so first, first I'm gonna start, you know, playing the closer guard, okay? I'm gonna teach you guys. I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna teach you first. Um, usually we start doing this and try to break portion, but I'm gonna here and try to break posture like this, right? It's very common. This hand gonna block you to, you know, sit up. This is really hard. What I do suggest you, so once you have the hand of the collar, don't need to go deep, just have one, you go under here, grab here. I don't know, what I'm on. You go here and then you grab whatever part you grab of the same lapel, same side. Then you're gonna use this. Just gonna open. Then look, this is gonna pull down the hand on the collar. 
you're going to pull down, and the other one are going to block the triceps. So this hand, she cannot remove anymore. You know, I'm just going to keep pushing to me. If I am able to, you know, finish on the wrist lock here, she's going to start tapping, okay? If she doesn't tap, look, I'm going to start moving my hips a little bit to the side and pushing the head. The foot is here. But look, do not take the hand from here. Do not take the hand from triceps. I'm going to start shooting my leg and then look, very important, scooping out my hips to the other side. She's tapping, sorry, on the wrist lock. If, if doesn't tap on the wrist lock, I'm going to start. Put the bottom one. Bottom one. It's because the omoplata is here. So I'm gonna keep pushing and then extending my leg that way. Okay, one good attack. I'm gonna turn to inside and this hand goes that way. Why? I'm gonna attack this foot on the toe hold. If I go straight here, she gonna block. So when I sit up, I put my hand that she cannot take the, the foot out anymore. And then I'm gonna start bringing to me, toe hold, boom. Okay, that's gonna come back. Why I'm showing that? I'm, at, I'm showing two attacks that it's pretty easy for light guys to finish. You don't have a strong wrist. Neither you don't have a strong ankle. This is why I start, you know, going for this. You can go for, of course, to cross and go for a uh, regular omoplata. You can go for armbar. You can go for triangle, whatever. But most of those techniques is going to be a little bit of battle with someone stronger than you. But if you go for wrist locks, it's going to be easier. And if you go for foot locks, it's going to be easy too, okay? So I'm going to show one more time. How do I break the posture? Very important. I'm here. I'm going to grab the collar. Usually we grab the, the sleeve here. You can just use like bumping, you know? I'm going to bring my uh, both uh, heels to the mat. Then this is gonna create leverage and my hips go up. So I'm gonna use this. As much as she put pressure for me down, it's gonna create a space here. We're gonna grab the same side. So look, you're gonna pull 45. Pretty easy. I'm gonna take my hand down on the triceps. Then I'm gonna push down. Okay, tap. If she doesn't tap, she cannot bring my, the, 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 the hand and the arm to that way. Why? Because I'm pulling, I'm opening the elbow and it's like getting hard for her. So the best way is to put there, like defending and going for omoplata. Push, push, open and push. Then turn to your side and bring this hand over. And then you bring to me and go for the toe hold. We have different grips here. I'm gonna show you later. Okay? How do you how do you attack? Um, I don't know if if I you know was it clear? It was it clear or how do you that was very clear. It was an awesome setup. Very important. Very important. Very important here. I'm only going to use this setup. I'm only going to use this setup if the, my opponent put the hand here. 
okay? If, if my opponent doesn't put the hand here, if he puts like here where it's wrong, it's gonna be pretty easy to go straight for a Moplata. But usually, what they're gonna do, they're gonna put, you know, right on the center, on the abs, and they're gonna start, you know, going create, you know, a huge distance. They need that. But if you look that side, See, this is going to create a space. Volta o quadril para o chão. The space is here. I'm here. Vai. Volta. The space is here. Ok? Vai, faz. Agora segura com a mesma mão por dentro. Isso, segura a mesma bola. Isso, puxa na diagonal. So it's pretty simple if you go two hands in the same lapel, okay? Are we going good? Questions about that? No. Pretty simple. Okay. Uh, if... if uh, Oh, I don't know how to remove that. That was the first time that we have a wife in the class, two taps, and she's a yellow belt. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I had to borrow someone's belt. From, no, from here. listen. Listen, that was great. She's already tapping the wristwork and the, the toe hole. That's it. She got her first lesson, bro. She won't forget it. Yeah, yeah. Um, the way that I go for the toe hold is like uh, you have to, to reach – in the opposite angle. Otherwise, if you go straight with the same arm, they just gonna hide it, or they gonna put the foot on the mat, and then they gonna start defending. She gonna do the position, she just learned it right now. Okay, really good. This is the regular omoplata. If I don't want to get tap on omoplata, what do I need to do? Tenta pegar no pé, botar com a mão esquerda no pé. If you try to catch with the same arm, they're gonna take it. Ok? Can we, can we, can we move to, for the detail for the toe hold? I'm pretty sure you know something, and I'm very, um, I'm very excited to show some stuff that I used to teach. Okay, for the toe hold, I'm gonna put, you know, just for the camera. Mm -hmm. When you cat, when you have the toe hold, usually you put a lot of focus on try to do this on the foot, right? The, most of people they just go, mm. but the point is you have to block the leg because she still has the move. Doesn't matter if you pull, she just gonna keep moving the knee, okay? I gonna catch the foot, you know, bring to me, then gonna start toe, toe holding, and then I'm gonna just, you know, like the, a, a clamp with both knees on, his, on her knee. I'm gonna show. You're here, so one hand is here. I don't have space. I don't have space. She's, you know, come under, bring, open, okay, push, scoop out. Look, I'm gonna spin, 
to the side. And then I'm gonna start to catch it. Look, from here, I'm gonna clamp. Just bring this over here. Once I catch it, then now it's impossible. If she start to roll, I'm gonna keep pinching more and more and more clamp here. And then if she start roll, I'm gonna just, you know, block with this foot. She cannot roll. Then doesn't matter if it's here, 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 doesn't matter. The way that I'm gonna catch, she can't move the knee anymore. It's right here, right here, right here. Doesn't matter. The secret is to don't let this leg to move, okay? That's great, Good. Professor. That's awesome. A couple of questions real quick, if you don't mind. Okay, let's go. Uh, awesome detail with flaring the elbow. When you grab the lapel, flare the elbow, pull to the side. Can you go over that one more time? Because I think that's huge. Yes. Look, this is very important. Uh, the way that I used to work um, as a light guy is if I don't have the leverage, I don't have anything, okay? So I'm just gonna use leverage, 45 angles degree, and then I'm gonna put focus with two hands in the same lapel because this is not that strong, but just two like a rope, you know, grabbing the rope, it's gonna be, you know, rope. This is going to be a little bit more clear for you guys. We are here. She's pretty confident here. Okay? This hand, of course, I just going to move, you know, move. I'm not going to reach over there. I just going to grab. Doesn't matter if it's tight or not, it's there, like, read. Okay, here. Here, doesn't matter. something. She's put a lot of pressure here. I can't, you know. So look, this gun under, but sometimes it's like tight here. You don't have space. So look, two, uh, the two heels, you're gonna put down. And then when I pull down, my hips go up, okay? So, one is here, I don't have space, down, I grab. If I pull to me, I'm not that strong, okay? I'm gonna pull, pull 45 angle degree. Just, this is, and then once I pull 45, this is gonna open, 45. Now I just block. Most of most of guys that are not expecting this, expecting this, they just step here. Yes. Okay. This is the way that I used to break posture and then go. Um, of course, maybe you don't ask, but it's it's easy to say. But pressure guard king. It's easy to say. What happened if I'm here? She's gonna pull me that way. If I if I'm not you know comfortable in that position, I'm not putting pressure. If she just pull, push it. I just you know the omoplata is there. I don't need too much. If you pull 45 angle degree, just that. So what's gonna make me strong in that position is this so the arm is pretty extended it's not you know so and i'm gonna start doing this but how do you how do you break that arm this is really strong and, and you have pain you know in the ribs it's not that comfortable okay more question that was a huge detail. I'm definitely gonna try that as soon as we get back. Thank you so much, Professor. 
The second detail I would like you, if you could please review, which leg are you controlling the head with uh, when you go to the toe hold? So your, uh, I believe it was your left leg in the omoplata position. I think your right leg was going over the head. If you could just go over that part again. Yes. When, when you're here in this position, I'm gonna turn face that way. I'm gonna sit up. You don't need to go back, you know, just need to go, go here. You know, I showed to you to come up because, you know, we have big guys, we have, you know, a long legs. We never know what's gonna, you know, who's gonna fight against you. Oh, so this is why I used to say, oh, sit up. And then I usually bring my hand close to the other foot because you won't be able to, to you won't be able to lock the triangle to defend. So if this happens, you're not gonna have the toe hold. But if I bring my my hand here, it's over. And then it's gonna be a battle again, it's gonna be a battle. For me with the forearm trying to bring a strong muscle, you know, even if you know, I don't know if you realize, but this is this is not good for, for position for her knee. Right. So usually I'm gonna win, but gonna you know Oops. give me uh, a struggle here. Okay. Oops. Oops. So once I bring here, so look now this foot, this foot can go like over, and then I'm gonna clamp here. Once I'm here, it's done. Here is done. And if you try to roll, you're not gonna, you know, roll that fast. It's gonna Beautiful. take you like two, three seconds, and then you go straight for the toe. Beautiful, okay? Professor, that's great. And then I, I didn't say why I started moving to changing uh, for that position. Because Puga, you know, Puga is really good on triangles and then omoplatas. But what happened is I was too light and then every time that I put the omoplata, every time that I try to sit up, they come back. Or sometimes, com a outra mão, segura o fundo da minha calça. Me puxa para cima, faz postura. I try to go, they move. You know? Happens to me a lot because I'm really light. You know? And then I start to realize, okay, every time that I go for the omoplata, they're just waiting for me to keep attacking, keep pushing something that they are waiting for. And then, you know, they just posture and take the arm. So okay, what what do you need? We are here. What do you need to make posture? You need to this foot. You need to put on the mat to make you a good posture. So he just you know don't worry about this. He just wanna move. This foot is free to attack. Okay. How can you defend this? <laughs> Someone ask that. <laughs> it's a secret. Oscar. It's a secret. <laughs> um, no, it's, it's um, how can I say? It's not, it's not hard to defend, uh, but you're gonna open um, the way for another submissions, you know? Uh, you're gonna be a little bit more vulnerable because you try to, because you don't have a, one arm and then I'm attacking the same foot. So it's, it's hard. Even if you, I don't have, you know, uh, the control, the full control of this arm, it's still there, you know, you can't defend too much. And if you try to roll, your foot is gonna be like this. Mm. And then just a little bit of pressure and it's done. 
Okay? But the most important is kill the position before it starts. That's true. We have another question here for you real quick, Professor, if you don't mind. Yes. Um, they're asking, what defense do you like since you're a lot lighter in this position? For Domo Plata? Yes. Great. She going to more plata me for the first time? <laughs> Never been in the mat? Yeah. Vai, passa a perna por cima do meu rosto. Não, não, essa aqui, essa daqui, por cima do meu rosto. Ok, we, we, we start, you know, talking about this position, right? My arm, fecha o triângulo. Usually we stay in that position, right? Uh, first of all, I just like to say, Abi, rapidinho. That I, that I tap more than, I don't know, 200 times in this position for Puka. You know? So, once you get spanked, you start to you know, get smart. And smarter, and smarter, okay? But, first of all, don't, don't let, you know, the Moplata come in. How do I block before? To go for a Moplata first, you have to have a good control here right, on the sleeve, uh, on the collar, right? right? And the other thing is you, I, you have to have my hand close to your hips, right? Oops. But at the same time, you know that if I bring my arm that way, there's an there's a arm bar. If I go that way, there's a, a triangle. So what is the best thing that I believe that I can do is, I'm not gonna block the hips with my arm. I'm gonna put focus on put elbows close and then straight. And then now I'm gonna follow the hips with my knees. Doesn't matter. I know that for the Moplata, I, I, I would always go that way. Every time she starts scooping out, I'm going to follow, I'm going to follow, I'm going to follow. Doesn't matter. I will never put my hand to the side. If I need to put to the side, I'm going to use the other one. Never that one. Because now she pulls and then I am in normal plata. So come back again. If I need, if she has this grip, look what I'm gonna use. What is the omoplata right now, guys? This is, I took me like 200 taps to Puga to learn that. But it's very, every time that I put this hand, the opposite hand on his abs or the hips, or even, you know, the chest, boom. So I just realized, okay, these are gonna keep straight and then I'm gonna put focus on the second one. Every time she, she start, you know, scooping out, I'm gonna follow, follow, until I have the chance to break this. And then, now I ask you guys, once you break the grip, usually you do this. What are you gonna do? Grab again. So once you break it, now it's mine. This hand is the strongest hand she wants to put it. So not anymore. And then I'm not past that side. I'm going to stop passing to the other side. You know, this is the way that I start, you know, becoming more confident to, you know, get inside Puga's guard, you know, because, you know, he's one of the best players in Nomo Plata. But, you know, if you play with the best, you can be one. Absolutely. That's beautiful. We do have a professor uh, here asking, um, actually he's making a comment that Professor Reeser is really going to like this move and he appreciates it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what else, guys? Can 
those were those were awesome details. I love all that stuff. We've been actually very blessed. I'm I'm uh, happy that Oscar and, and these guys that are listening, hopefully watching here, uh, we've we've been blessed with yourself, with uh, uh, Claudia, with uh, Clark Gracie, all fantastic Omoblada people. And so hopefully all these guys that maybe thought about it before but never really used it will actually like start playing with it because we've gotten a lot of a lot of stuff from that and and i love almost a lot of myself so thanks for showing those moves man great techniques good detail uh, good news thank you thank you tom of course um i didn't complete the full sequence but it's very important to say that if you're gonna play straight like you know like rice and beans uh but in bread, something like this, you just can, you know, keep this rib stronger and then go for a, a straight armbar. Remember, we were here, you know, and I have this grip, but these or oh, those hands don't let me, you know, sit up. I go here, boom, same side. Just gonna open the leverage and then she realized that I'm gonna start attacking on the wrist lock or the omoplata. Look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just slide it, you know, and then the arm, if it goes that way, very important right now, you just bring this, this hand to support with, with the elbow just a little bit here, and then you're gonna climb for the, for the armbar, regular one. But once she, know, she realized that I'm gonna cross the arm, she's gonna bring the second one over. About to, what, and then start pushing. Push, 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 yeah. See, and then she's gonna start defending. Right? Once again, I have a good, better grip right now, and then a good setup. I'm gonna bring to my chest, and then, now I just shrink, choke, armbar, and whatever. Okay, just pretty simple this. Just because once you start the, the wrist lock, they're gonna try to come back, and then you're gonna pull, and then you're gonna climb. This is pretty simple to, you know, and if, if you know, if you can't get, just come back for the closing guard, but with a better grip. We go deeper, okay? Uh, let me let me show you two um, two details, uh, really good, uh, but in the in the different situation, okay? Uh, I put uh, uh, the choke and go for armbar, and then you know the rice and beans were there. Sometimes I go, I'm gonna do the same, but I'm not with the full closer guard right here. I can do the same from here, you know, with the knees. How do I, I, I go for a great setup? This and this, I'm gonna start going up there, Boom. Ah. If she posture, if she uh, extend the leg, and then you can go straight for uh, uh, the leg lock here. <laughs> okay, just for you to understand. That's gonna change the situation because I think we see like different stuff for closer guard. And then I'd like to show something else. Is there any questions? Yes. We don't have any questions. Uh, Professor Tom was just highlighting that uh, breaking their posture from the closed guard seems to be the most important part of creating the sequence. Yeah, yes. Um, 
do you do you guys have any uh, favorite position? We can go through this, or I can show you another good move that I used to, you know, win some matches, maybe. We want all of it. We're hungry for all of it. So we would just download whatever you know into us. That would be great. So anything you want to show, we're going to be here listening. <laughs> but Professor, before you move on to the next technique, I know Professor Tom's eating it all up. Ryan's asking if you could just go one time through the Oma Plata from start to finish, please. Oh, uh, so do you want me to do the, the Oma Plata finish or the... Uh, Ryan, yes, the, if you could just go through the beginning of the Oma Plata all the way to the end, start to finish, just so he can see it. And if, Ryan, if, you have it, if that's not what you're looking for, just let me know. That's it. Yes. Okay, please. Okay. 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 So, one, try to reach the collar in the opposite. Okay. And if you feel there's a lot of pressure, like what the pressure? Just find a space. How do you create space? You see, the elbow is right on my tight here. I cannot bring leverage. This is gonna bring my hips up out of the mat. And then now I'm gonna bring my hand. Now you can re you can just come back. You don't need, you know, the hand is here, grabbing the same side of the lapel. Gra grabbing the same side of the lapel. How do I break posture? This hand gonna pull 45 angle, like touching my elbow on the mat. And these are gonna open, like, you know, doing the 45, okay? I like to go straight for the wrist lock, you know? Of course, uh, if you're a friend, I'm not go gonna use this. But if you're not a friend, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use it. Okay, so I'm gonna use this, and then this hand comes all the way to the triceps, and then, very important, I'm gonna push down, but I'm gonna explode my, like, lungs, you know? Put, you know, there, okay, then, Tap here. If she, you know, realize that she's gonna tap, she's just gonna slide and give me the omoplata, okay? But she's gonna fall over me, it, it's not right there. So what I need to do, control the triceps, push, oh my God, I'm gonna push the head that way, and then I'm gonna extend here. Why I extend the leg is very important. I extend the leg because if I don't extend the leg, she's gonna have the butt close to the ankle. When I use this, now there's a lot of space. I'm gonna turn facing to the feet, and then this hand is here. Okay? Before I start attacking, come on, don't worry. Before I start attacking, I'm gonna sit up here, here. Okay, to make sure she's not gonna roll, I'm gonna make a clamp over here with this hand. You can use the, the foot uh, with this leg. You can use the foot to like jump and clamp, you know, bring knees together on the tight. So we are here, so. Then you bring to you, and then you have a good setup. She's complaining about the foot, sorry. <laughs> okay, guys. Awesome, Ryan, did that answer your question? Great, thank you, Professor. We love the triple threat, that's beautiful. Sorry to interrupt, now we can go forward. No, no, we can go forward. Uh, okay, um, if, um, even if you, um, if you know, or if you have a good closer guard, uh, for sure, someone gonna get in the half. Someone gonna start, you know, you know, scramble, and then you know, they're gonna try to go for um, half uh, half guard or do something like this, trying to you know pass a guard. And then I, I just realized that I can rest on the half guard, you know. But you have to understand 
where the pressures come so you can rest, you know? I'm gonna show from here, okay? I'm here, okay? If you have a good angle to, you know, bring it uh, under the arm, it's really good. If you can dive and then get inside, it's really good. But usually, it's not gonna happen that easy. They're gonna start to push you down on the mat. They're gonna try, you know, to smash you. And then the best way that I found to rest is to stay in a deep hell. But the way that I go for a deep hell is a little bit different. Look, usually people go, usually go, people go from here and then grab this here and try to bring, right? What happened? When I go here, Você vai abraçar meu, passar, passar a mão na, na, na sua mão esquerda na frente do meu rosto, não na frente do rosto, abraçar a cabeça. Usually, this is going to happen, right? And then, you're going to sprawl, estica a perna para trás, estica a perna para trás. And then, you're going to get stuck in here, right? Bota a pressão, encaixa o teu ombro no meu gogó. And then, you're going to start feeling, see the voice. And then, you're not going to rest, you're just going to... You know, be out of gas. Like, what I used to do is instead of going that leg, I'm gonna bring and dive for the other leg. And then I'm gonna face everything to the other side. But how do you go for this leg instead of going this? I'm gonna use this. I'm go. Like, you know, facing the same direction she's looking. She's looking that direction, I go there. And then, very important, my hand, this hand, now go to the other side. It's gonna bring, I'm gonna bring on the omoplata. You know? Why? Because if I put to the other side, last move, last move, this is not my here. Vai envolver por cima aqui, ó. If I bring, you know, maybe this is gonna happen. But if I bring here, it's pretty easy, okay? So I'm gonna face that way. So I'm gonna start with like a punch. I'm gonna punch that way. And then pretty simple to bring, bring that, that side. And this, like, then look to the other side. I'm gonna start facing that side. I can talk. There's nothing she can do except follow me. Very important here. What I use, I call this uh, Tarzan sweep. I don't know if you see before, but it's very important to bring this hand. I'm gonna shift everything towards my chest. Usually what happened, breaks the portion. This hand, I'm gonna start, you know, feeding. Feeding, 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 and very important. I'm not gonna use the lapel. Why? Because she can grab and, my push. Okay, I'm gonna use my hand to open, Bring and then look to inside. I'm gonna wrap really strong instead of grabbing the lapel. I'm gonna use this pull down and then wrap. Okay, but if this is not good yet, look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna punch, pull down. Wrap. If you have the chance, if you have the chance, can you see this? Right on the armpit. If I have this grip, I can sweep, you know, the strongest guy. Okay, look, I go there, there, uh, until you know break the posture 
But the most common is once I bring up, this hand comes here and just go spin, spin, spin. Already sweat. Okay? The best way to reach this is like, you know? And the best grip for this is not to grab the lapel, is to wrap the arm and hide it. There's nothing that you, you can't see my hand. You can't take it. And if you grab, if you grab uh, under me, I just gonna use like leverage to feed higher. Once it's higher, she cannot even move. And then just roll and it's there. Okay. That's awesome, Professor. So just to clarify, you're going for the grip inside the armpit of the gi? Inside the armpit. Like, I'm gonna use this. And then, but once I feel that I can reach, I go here. Close. Close. This is gonna give you a lot of leverage, like, you know, it's like really strong grip. This, but this is better. And if you can't go and grab here, that's really strong. Wow, okay, yes. Okay? Beautiful. Well, this sweep has, you know, has a lot of stories, good stories, you know. And, and we, call, we, we call this Tarzan sweep. Tarzan sweep, okay. Tarzan sweep. Tarzan, got it. It's their Tarzan, right? You're right. <laughs> so it uh, looks like Oscar has another question for you. He's mm -hmm. wondering uh, if you can show your favorite guard pass or sweep. And this sweep was pretty awesome, so maybe a guard pass? Okay. Uh, guard pass? Uh, wh which, which guard? Oscar, do you have a do you have a preference on which guard to pass? Just a standard close guard? The close guard. Close, close guard. guard. Close guard. Okay. Close guard. Okay. Um, as a light lighter guys, like real light. Um, I have two common, uh, or maybe two that I used to, you know, apply. One is for light guys, and the other one is for heavy guys. Why? Um, I don't know if you realize, but you know, uh, light guys, they have like a really fast movement with the hips, right? And sometimes just to block the hips on the mat, it's really hard, they, they just, you know, move, okay? But if they are light, looks like I can lift them pretty simple, really easy. This is why I use the regular stand-up pass. But the way that I go, maybe you can, you know, you can see some detail. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna be a battle here for the grip, okay? If she has a good grip here, for me, I'm not gonna do anything like crossing, for me, Number one is to break this grip, okay, boom. But once you grab it, I like to grab the same side, okay? And then, look, if you just grab like this, like straight, she just can, yeah, turn, turn, and then it's gonna be a, a battle, battle here. If I break the grip, boom. Now I'm gonna use the knuckles. And then I just gonna control with my knuckles on the forearm. <laughs> okay? The knuckles goes in the forearm. And then who's the stronger right now? Me, you know, pushing the arm outside to inside, or her trying to bring the arm back? I'm gonna be the stronger. And then I'm gonna like, a punch like in the head, okay? This is the, that I used to, to do. Now I grab over, 
I don't know if you put the one hand inside. I don't, I don't, you know, you do what you prefer. I just gonna do something to lift as fast as I can. Look, you know that you have to bring this foot first, but look the balance. I'm gonna just open a little bit my knee and then all my weight goes to the punch. She can't come back this arm anymore. I'm not gonna try to force because as soon as I start doing this, I'm gonna start losing my posture. And then she's gonna create leverage and then bring everything back. So once I have the control, I'm gonna punch, gonna open a little. Now I'm gonna bring this up. This is really strong. Now she's gonna start uh, feeling the pain on the, on the hips, especially if I bring the, this knee on uh, the ribs and then try to stand up. This is gonna open, pretty simple. If not, the second hand is gonna start pushing. Then look, once you open the guard, she gonna face, okay, I need to push. I'm gonna put all my weight on this arm. And then knee, and then arm, face or over, and then boom, pass. So this secret, my secret since the beginning was the grip. Okay. That's a, but Mario, huge detail. If she doesn't put the hand on the collar, how are you gonna do? I'm gonna put my hand on this chest. And then I'm gonna start looking for this control. Once I have it, very important, I don't bring to me, I know that you like to do, maybe not you, but most of guys, they boom, right? And then it's really hard to stand up because now I have to put all my weight to that side to bring this foot. I'm out of balance. Down, down, shoot, como se fosse a minha cabeça. Vai, com a perna direita, direita. Boom. Down. So, close again. The way that I like to stand up, in case I'm straight, so once I have this control, I'm gonna go under, and then this goes over. This arm is totally blocked. Now, again, all my weight, you see, they're always not straight yet. It's bended. So now I'm gonna start punching and up and open. All the weight is here, like pushing, you know, like pushing my fist on the mat. And then my head goes towards to the head, knee, boom, pass. This is the way that I like. Usually, I can't lift them because they, you know, they want to resist. But the guy that the guy that is not expecting this, when I turn my hips, they're gonna open. I don't need to lift them. That's Just awesome. because of this. Beautiful. Okay, this is the guard pass for light guys. Okay. And heavy guys. That's that's a good question. You won't be able to like the way that I feel is like the guy locked here, like I mean, you know, in the laundry. You know? <laughs> you know? But how do you how do you do? Okay, if you have the hand in the collar, first of all, I'm gonna break it. Okay? But sometimes you win in the position there's no grip. Okay? Again, if I'm not strong, I'm gonna use two against one. Always. Okay? And then I'm gonna apply the same. If we don't have grip, I'm gonna grab not crossing, grab the same side. And then two against one. Okay? And now I'm pretty sure. The second hand can come over, but it's gonna be late. Why? Because I'm gonna use this 
to put all my weights, and then I'm gonna start going backwards. Fashion, 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 go. Backwards, backwards, fashion. Have one, two, two against one. I'm not gonna try to live because he really, you know, heavier than me. If I try to do something, you know, they're gonna break the balance. Even if, you know, the second hand is coming. But this hand cannot break your posture because you have two hands here. So I'm gonna start, you know, moving backward, 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 backward. Boom. Okay. Maurinho, I'm not strong. I don't feel comfortable doing this. The last one. The grip is here. I'm gonna break it. And then I'm gonna use the combination. I'm gonna use both, okay? And then I'm gonna to switch to the other side. This is gonna block. This is gonna block the elbow. And then I'm gonna use the same movement. <laughs> Sorry guys, <Salute>. pop. <laughs> this is the way that I use to, to do it. I don't like to, uh, this, the guy gonna get mad against you, then, you know, when he get the arm, it's gonna be worse, you know? I don't like to, uh, uh, on the tights. Just, you know, stay away from the guard, stay away from the guard, and that's it. But controlling the, the forearm, it's really, really good, okay? Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Professor. Those were some amazing details, especially the, the cat's paw grip pushing it across. We actually just went over that with Professor uh, Professor Ryan on Tuesday, and he was talking about how in judo they're making that almost illegal, or now it's legal, because it's so powerful. So we're definitely gonna incorporate that into the game. Some amazing stuff, we really appreciate it. Uh, before I turn you over to Professor Tom, I just wanna thank you, uh, myself, along with all the other students, for taking the time to be with us. And thank you to your beautiful wife. It's, it's amazing having a partner. It makes the techniques a lot more manageable in our minds. Thank you yeah. so much, guys. Th thank you guys a lot for the opportunity. Uh, unfortunately, you know, my training partner, you know, he had, you know, uh, her wife with uh, COVID, so I couldn't bring him to my home. So just, you know, this is why I try to, you know, adapt something. And then I'm really lucky that she helped me a lot today. Okay. For me, this is the most, you know, uh, wonderful thing that could happen today. Well, we don't, you believe you. we don't think it's her first class. She did an amazing job. Thank you so much. <laughs> it is. I mean, she was like, what did you do? What did you do? Sorry, guys. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Yeah, she did a great job. I mean, we've, anytime people, uh, it's their first time, they have a hard time knowing which way to move, which way to hold on. And she did amazing. I was like, ah, that's, that's why he was saying, I don't know if it's her first class. You have a lot of natural ability. I'm, I'm super happy. I really do hope that you stick with it. And actually, the two first two moves he done on you are completely illegal for white belts and new people. So. <laughs> and so that was pretty funny that you got that on your first class. <laughs> uh, sir, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for, for coming and being on this for us, guys. Thank you for teaching. Thank you, guys. If you have any questions, just guys. Um, uh, send me any message or through Buyu or whatever, which is going to be more than, you know, uh, a pleasure to, you know, reply and answer all the things. Okay. Thank you again. You know, stay safe. God Take bless care. you guys. Take Oops. care. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank Bye, you. guys. Have a good night. Bye, Grayson. Bye, Grayson. Bye, Bye, Tim. Hey, Bye, Oscar. Oscar, you get good at those, like, Footlocks, man, you're a, you're a podiatrist, bro. You gotta like, you know all the how to break them, how to put them back. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> Will follow me, querido. Now I have to cook. Now I have to clean the house. Now I have to, you know, wash the dishes and you know take care of the kids and no complain at all. Hey, stay quiet because if you're not, you're gonna get less degrees on your belt. Yeah, see, ah, my gosh, <laughs> she's dangerous.
That was awesome, Maurinho. Thank bye, you so much, bye. man. I appreciate she it. She secretly had fun. She won't tell you she had fun, but she did. Oh, yeah. yeah. She had fun. <laughs> Send a big kiss, you know, to your family. We will. Thank you. Love you, guys.